I want to bowl, I want to idle. I've been a resident here for 60 years. Graduated from Loveland High School in 1975. Good evening, Council and students. Thank you. I want to talk about the repurposing of the City Hall. On April the 5th, I submitted a document request to Misty for copies of any motions, resolutions, or ordinances approving the repurposing of City Hall. I received 26 pages back from Mr. Braun. Results were there are no motions, there are no resolutions, and there are no ordinances. That being said, how can we be so ready for this project to be underway by summer? I also sent Ms. Gross an email regarding the project, and she responded. The decision on this final development will include public hearings and public input, and the city council will make the final decision. This is a very important project, so let me assure you that no decision will be made on the development without full transparency and input from all interested parties. She also stated, there seems to be a lot of misinformation circulating through our community regarding the redevelopment of City Hall. Sadly, some of this misinformation is coming from my fellow council members. I beg to differ with your response. Some of our council members have been deliberately held in the dark on this project. Mrs. Gross mentioned full transparency. Well, holding public meetings during the day like the upcoming CIC meeting scheduled for 1 o'clock in the afternoon on the 24th does not project transparency. By the way, Ms. Grossman personally invited me to attend that meeting, the next CIC meeting, and she also wrote, it is a public meeting so anyone can attend, including interested council members who would like an update on the progress and specifics of this project. Transparency would be making this information readily available and reported to all council members and to the public at large. Public meetings should also be held when the public can attend the meetings. Holding meetings at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the afternoon for, the most, for most of the public is not a convenient time. As you know, Mr. Weisgerber is the chief engineer at the General Electric Aviation, and he works hard daily. Mrs. Bailey and Mr. Phelps are both attorneys, and their schedules and commitments uh, could prevent them from attending. And Mr. Mayor, you know where I work. You made it very clear. I work many hours, too, during the day, and cannot attend those meetings. It appears transparency is being deliberately removed. Meetings during the day does not promote involvement or transparency. It projects some kind of hidden agenda. So, we don't have a final design on this project. We don't have any working drawings. We don't know if the building's gonna be one story, two story, three story, or four. We don't know if the project will include commercial, residential, retail. Most importantly, we don't have anything of any competitive bids. My fear is this project could be handled in the same manner in which our mayor defied a final or a, a failed resolution that he had presented to North College Hill when he was a city administrator and proceeded to sign a contract anyway with his personal friend. Henceforth, my question, what is the hidden agenda? To be honest, we may never know. However, the understanding due to, to the present lack of transparency is our mayor is ready to sign a lease. He's ready to vacate City Hall and bulldoze it down. Neil, your five and minutes is up. No, it's not. No way, no way. I'll give you one more minute to wrap up. And I'll get to the good part. Do not bulldoze City Hall, okay? If you try to move forward on this project, a referendum will be filed. 
And again, I'm asking you for the second time to resign from our council. If you do not, a recall will be make, will be put in place. Thank you. Thank you, good one.